Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back with our final faction team, which is the Maulers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the team. We're on 25-26. As we can see here, we're still focused on building Anoki. We actually need, I believe, two more copies of him at this point, which is good because we do have the choice heroes. And then we're either going to go with Scrath, which you already have built. Again, just need copies of him. Or we're going to go with Titus. I'm thinking at this point, Scrath. That way we can continue to build our next Mauler hero. So let's go ahead and get into the summons. As you can see here, we do have a couple uh, stones, which Anogi, look at that. We got one of the copies we needed, so we just need one more copy. Perfect pull and Savius, so we got food for Scarath, which is awesome. Scarath has an amazing furniture set, which is, again, kind of weird to say, but... Overall, they said his furniture is very, very powerful. And I believe we might have enough now. So two that we're really focusing on, that might have been our last copy for Anoki. Nimitsu is reworked. So he is reworked, he is rebuilt. This is the first time we're going to use him. We will move him to three stars, as you can see right there. Anoki. I don't think we have enough copies, so we'll wait for food for him. But we have one copy there. We have one copy there at Elite Plus, so we just need one. One copy of Anoki is all that we need, and then a little bit more food, and we can get him up to Ascended, so we can actually see how powerful he really is. All right, so here we don't have any Stargazer cards. With the Choice Heroes, we pull these last, because if we do happen to get a copy of Anoki, we can actually switch this to another hero, because we do have three chances to get our Choice Hero. We have 21,000 diamonds, so we're going to get at least two copies of him, which makes it absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and get into our Companion Summons here, which a couple rare cards, two, three Maulers there. Need quite a bit of food, especially if we're going to build Oscarath as well. Again, these bags are full. I got to go through and clean up a lot of heroes that we have in here. But we do have 45 regular scrolls, which is from the Heroes of Esperia event. A couple more Maulers there. And there is our first Elite card, which is a copy of Scrag. And another one, back-to-back -back Elite cards. Copy of Pharrell, always a good choice. So we've got a couple more summons here, and then one faction card, and then a couple summons to hopefully pull him. I'm hoping that we can get a copy of him before we use all of our diamonds for the desired hero pulls. Just a lot of rare cards there, six rare cards there. All right, so we still need one copy of Anoki at this point. So let's go ahead and get to summoning him. And Scrag, we can actually move to five stars at this point. So he will be completely done. I'm hoping we pull him early, and there he is. Our copy of Anoki, he was the one that we needed. All right, so let's go to the temple. To our auto ascends, we'll get five stars on Scrag, so we can drop him out of the wish list. And then there is Anoki. Oh, which we do need the food first. So we have Savius here. Legendary, we'll take him to Legendary Plus. That will be our food for Anoki. To Mythic and Finally, to Ascended. So since he has Ascended, we are going to focus on Scarath at this point. So he is going to be the next hero. We still have two chances left. So let's go ahead and pop him in here. And then also with the wish list, we will drop out Screg. Since he is completely done, giving us our second five-star hero. And we'll pop in Satrana because she just got a rework as well. A couple more diamonds to pull our last two copies of Scarath. Just a couple more rare cards. We still do need a lot of food to build Scarath. But we should be able to get two copies out of here, which there's our first one. Which we know it's going to be a copy of Scarath. We have one more pull. And 
Again, it bugged out. All right, so let's complete our summons here. So there is another copy of Scarath. I believe at this point we do need two more copies and then we will be able to take him all the way to Ascended as well once we get some more fodder cards. Another copy of Warwick, which we've kind of replaced with Anoki and I think at this point he may be completely replaced. So we did our faction pull there. We have one more chance here which we have an entire month to pull the next copy of him, which there it is, got lucky with the copy. So we just need one, and then we will actually have enough food to take him all the way to Ascended. So even there, Warwick, we get another star on Warwick. Very, very powerful hero for bosses with his defense reduction, but that takes him to four stars there. So here we do have another copy of Savius. We have Brutus, we have Titus, we have our first copy of Scarath. We have another elite copy there. So as we continue to build him, we have the copy. Same with Titus. We're just going to need a lot more food for this account. Let's go ahead and level up our heroes, which we are on 268 right now. We have a lot of gold and a lot of levels to add here. So that takes us to level 270. 271, I believe we'll move all the way to 272 at this point. Yep, and that's where we're at. So let's take a quick look at the Oaken Inn. 14,000 here to work with, which we can finally put Anoki in the inn now that he has ascended. First time I've actually ever seen him ascended. But there he is, so we'll try to get some furniture for him. Out of the workshop, we still do have our regular team, Scarath and Cetrana, we're looking to build. We have Tailene in there, and quite a few summons to pick up some furniture. Not a very good pull there, but I'm hoping we get a couple red pieces, which there's our first one. It is, look at that, Nemesu's Furniture. Couple more legendaries. And only one red piece, but we did get a card there. So we can go ahead and continue to build. I think I'm gonna go with tank just because we have all three of them. There's a little more power there for Anoki. And then we got Nemisu, some new furniture. Look at that, dodge, health regeneration, crit resistance, attack, and health. So he is happy. Do the same with Anoki. Health attack, received healing plus, and crit resistance, which is awesome because he is our primary frontline tank. I believe we have one more summon we can actually do here. And that'll give us enough for red furniture, which we got another piece of look at that scarass furniture and there's our choice card so i'm thinking at this point probably sophia to go ahead and continue because i know screg has one piece already which this is his piece actually let's just go for anoki possibly anoki because we'll go ahead and pull Yep, we're going we're gonna to stick with Anoki on this one. Just because I want to see his furniture. And there's his first red piece. So health increase, tanking, received healing, and crit resistance. It's Warhorn ability after 15 seconds after the initial use. Horn of War can be used two times per battle. Each time the ability is used, the shield that is generated becomes 50% weaker than the previous shield. So giving him additional survivability there. We're actually going to build his, have to build his room a little bit bigger, but there's received healing and crit resistance. Building up Anoki. Kasos we're not really using right now. Verk we definitely use, so we'll put some furniture in there, increasing his accuracy and his attack. Um, Warwick is another one that we kind of swap out, and Sophia. So help. 
Getting up the health and dodge there. A little bit more for Scrag. Received healing and crit resistance is pretty high on him. As well as Life Leech for Warwick, giving him a little bit more survivability. So that will do it for the Mauler team. And here we are into 25-26. Let's go ahead and push into the campaign. Before we get started here, let's go ahead and look at Nemitsu real quick. We'll get his signature item to plus 20. Not sure if we're going to take it to plus 30 at this point, but I want to see how strong he is with his plus 20 signature item, giving a 40% health buff to his totems. As we know, they are a massive distraction. He got reworked, so we'll see just how good he does. We'll go ahead and reset some faction gear, which I just did the weapon because we can use it for a couple other casters if we go ahead and get Skarath. Um, built, which we're planning on next. He's already at Legendary Plus, and boom, there it is. We did get the Mauler Caster Staff out of there. Swapping the faction gear, we only get one shot a week, but as you can see, three stars with a plus 20 signature item. Really hoping that the rework was worth it as we go ahead and push into the campaign 25-26. As you can see with his totem rework, he has a giant radius. So we have his totem radius, we have his aggressive totem radius, we have the aura that is from Enoki, but did not help. We got absolutely destroyed on that stage. Let's go ahead and give that one another try, put Enoki on the top. Seems like Enoki, even at Ascended, is, is pretty strong, but Scrag can, has the damage mitigation. As you can see there, we got the alt. Should be able to get this one down. Nemesu just healed everybody. Look at the totems. Perfect with the radius. Let's look at his healing here. That's what we're really focused on. 2.18 million healing and both of the tanks. 615 of 480,000 healing. Absolute insane amount of healing. 25-28. This is our first boss stage. Again, he starts with the double totems, which is nice. Big, big distraction right off the bat. As you can see there, Thane was working on some totems. Got Enoki's alt off which it seems like with the totems and the heals that Nemitsu's bringing works in perfect harmony with Anoki's shield, giving Nemitsu time enough to go ahead and heal. Even there, 3.45 million, so 3.5 million healing, 2 million on Anoki, almost a million on Scrag. Not sure if the numbers take into account when the hero is full, so we could have had a lot more healing there if it, take, if it does not take into account the hero already being full. So this is our next boss stage here. As you can see, Anoki's survivability is pretty high at this point, um, especially being at Ascended. I cannot imagine him even further with some more stars because he is able to really hold the line to get this boss stage done, which was 25-32, a little bit of healing. Nemesu died kind of early on that one, which brings us to 25-36. Again, another boss stage. Running this team comp, the, the totems are crazy with the radius they have. Even when the totem starts in the middle, it covers all five heroes. Now, it doesn't have them going forward as they progress and move forward and push actually into the back row. Even there, 698,000, 200, 200,000. Look at Verk and Sophia Verk. 10.25 million damage there. Bring us to 25-40. So this is two-thirds done with the campaign stage at this point. Got a bunch of totems there, double healing totems in the back. Still went down pretty quick. I'm hoping Vert can get this one done, which there's Sophia powering up the Falling Sun. Once it goes off, you know it's gonna win. The amount of damage that it does is just absolutely crazy. So you can hear 10 million damage from Sophia with the Falling Sun ability, which brings us two thirds of the way through the stage. 25-44, continuing with the same team. Very, very impressed with the totems and the shield that Anoki is bringing. There's his stun, perfectly placed to allow Verk to go ahead and get his alt, Nemesu's heal. Remember, it prioritizes the front two targets, so it prioritizes the heroes you have up front, which is very, very powerful. 1.85 million damage there healed, which is awesome. But it prioritizes the heroes up front. If there's no one up front, it actually prioritizes the, I believe, the lowest heroes. So even there, we got a good dodge from Sophia with Athalia in the back. And there is Verk's alt. Look at the damage he does with those bolts. Anoki pushes everyone right to the enemy side. And a second alt from Verk. 
takes down Athalia, takes down Naru to go ahead and get the win. Damage here, 14, almost 15 million damage from Virk, so doing a crazy amount of damage. 25-52, still running this very, very solid team. Like I said, the, the synergy between the shields and the heals, plus the distraction of the totems, is absolutely huge. We have double healing totems right in the back, as you can see. Rejuvenating totems, plus some attack totems in the very, very front, allowing a perfect distraction even their 1.28 million damage. Remember, Nemitsu also does buff Haste, which is very, very powerful, especially when you're running Sophia or Virk, because with her Haste, or with his Haste, um, he just actually dropped the Haste right onto Virk. Regenerates energy faster, allowing him to alt a lot faster. That's why you see Virk alting a majority of the battles. It's because his Haste is up a lot, allowing him to regenerate more energy overall. So even there's 6 million damage there from Sophia. Pushing right through this chapter. So chapter 25 is just getting absolutely destroyed. Even Scrag, there's no real defense. He just runs right over, gets a perfect heal there from Nemesu. We do have the alts, which there's the Falling Sun ability. Killed all three of them to go ahead and finish chapter 25. Look at that, 13 million damage. So they are the second team through chapter 25, so pushing into chapter 26. The only other team in chapter 26 at this point is the Lightbearer team. So overall, Nemitsu and Anoki are just destroying the campaign. 26-4, we've already went through, I think probably around 20, 30, probably 30 plus stages at this point. And it's a lot more difficult as you're getting further into the campaign, but look at Virk again, just absolutely destroying the team. Even Sophia providing the stuns where Virk is doing the damage, 15.5 million damage from Virk in a very, very short period of time. 26-8, so another boss stage. Got the shield, got the totems up. Even though there they died pretty quick, and you can see the static field ability just supercharging Virk in the back line, combined with the haste, able to just absolutely steamroll over the entire team. Wow, I, I'm pretty impressed. 1.5 million healing there. Brings us to 26-10. This is a super, super tough stage. Um, overall, with this team comp, we ran this stage... At this point, I think it's been about 30 times. Um, Arden with the Roots is destroying us. Tassie with the Banish, as you can see there right off the bat, Banishing Virk, and with her Sleep ability. Limited damage that we can do to Warwick, but just getting destroyed with the team comps that we have here. So again, this stage is going to be the final stage for the Mauler team. Um, Ended up running it probably about 50 times with a couple different team comps, including Kasos. Still could not get it down. Nothing to really do with Arden in the back. Tried it a bunch of different ways. Tried it a bunch of different heroes. And unfortunately, no luck with this campaign stage. So this will do it for the Mauler team. 26-10. Let's collect up our loot. 25-32 we started. So that's 30, well, a little over... About 35, almost 40 stages, plus finishing out the whole entire chapter. So we just progressed 40 stages with Nemitsu and Anoki, which is absolute insanity. Let me know what you think in the comments. Very, very cool to see into chapter 26. And as always, thank you guys for watching.